Hi. In the past few weeks, we had many uh, requests of users which want to filter uh, the dashboards they create or the reports they create in Data Studio by account names, account IDs, uh, maybe change currencies or filter by countries. And in this video, I'm going to show how to easily do that. It's using one of our connectors, but in essence, the same applies for any other uh, connector you might use in Data Studio. Now, for this example, what we need is the add CRM data and attribution connector, which helps us to blend the data across all sources in Data Studio. Now, what I have here is configuration where we have Google Analytics, Google Ads, Bing, Facebook Ads account added. And now what I have done is I have pre-installed that connector, which links to the configuration I have here. So now what we do, we go in the field lists and then uh, just using the sample report, which is included, but you can also create one from scratch. Let's let that load here. And that should now contain the data from all the sources, which I have connected. So now I have this demo template loaded here. And what you can see on the screen is this table. Uh, for this example, I don't really need most of the charts. So I can quickly delete them. And what I want to show you is how you can basically visualize the account performance. And we're taking that as a base for then drilling down deeper and creating a custom um, or calculated dimension here in Data Studio. Now, Depending on the number of um, data sources you connect, you get a list of fields here, um, which is in, in the data section of the table. In my example, I now have quite many data sources connected. The total list of fields across all connectors is somewhere between eight and 9,000 fields. As of this video, uh, the whole documentation on all the fields we have available, uh, will put in the chat. And now what we want to sort by is data source that gives us the name of the connector, which is this one here. And we want to, for reporting purpose, I guess the most used field would be the amount spent. So oh, that one is already in the table, so I don't need to add it again. So now we sort by the amount spent and the data source name. And while this is loading, now what we want to go is we want to go a bit granular uh, because you might have um, tens or potentially hundreds of account names. We add the account name and the account ID that allows us to filter by by account name and then create our rules based on that. As you can see here, I have the table. And now some of you also might want to add in uh, the currency uh, currency conversions. I will tackle in another video since it's also a recurring issue that one account for example is in USD and one is in Euro uh, that can also be done in a similar way but now I'm going to basically explain how how you work with these account names and account IDs so the 
like assuming you only have ad accounts, you will work with these fields. Uh, there is another, like if you work with Google Analytics, you would look for analytics. You have this view ID to quickly show you. And the name. Again, here you can go either by By name or by ID as with the accounts but in order for the Google Analytics data to show up I would also need to add in a Google Analytics related dimension so I'm gonna use sessions so now we have the data set here as you can see you have two views connected and we have five accounts connected now option one of filtering those is to go by a report filter and then setting in the report settings a filter uh, where I would say for example include now I'm just showing them for the purpose of that demo with one account which I can use I could also do two so I can either use in or equal to So now I'm just looking for this particular account ID, which I can see here is one Google Ads account. So if I will click save here, um, it would then just filter the whole data set, which is shown in the, the report by this particular account ID. Of course, I could also say, hey, I want to add um, or or in that case. So let's say I only want to add in one GA view. Then I would look here for that GA view, which can be found by typing analytics. Um, this would, I believe, it would be this one here. And then you would uh, specify here the GA view ID. And then you specify that. And now, once you click save, the whole report is filtered by the criteria I've given here. Now that's option one. Option two is by creating a, a new field, uh, which I can also quickly show you. So for that, I'm removing the account field that I created here again. And then it goes back to before. Now what I want is uh, to go into the connector itself. For that, you would need edit rights to the connector click on the pencil here now in the field list here I say add a field and here is I name a country because I want to filter by country and now we type a case statement so case one um, account ID in mm -hmm. now I stored the value somewhere let's quickly grab them here I can list multiple of those or then we have Google Analytics um, profile ID equals 
this last one here is a GA view ID. Done. Let's say Canada. Else, we just call it US, United States. And now, of course, you can have as many uh, cases as you want. So you could case when account ID. equals a b c d then antarctica for example which will never be the case because there is no account with this id and now at the end we write now that is done and now i should have a new calculated field which will populate the country for me i can then use that in drop downs and tables which i can show you right now It would take a while for that to be refreshed. Now I should have the country here. Now I drag it. Drag it over. And now that should be calculated on the fly. And that could also be, for example, used. To create the drop down where then filter by country. Now you can see the table with our custom country, and here's a filter so the user can then easily filter. I will leave this uh, template below in the links so feel free to take a copy and have a look on how this was set up